So I'm on my way now to get a train to Aylsham, which is southeast of Canterbury. My train is literally just getting in now. I always time it exactly on the dot. And I'm not really sure what the countryside around Aylsham's like. Um, so it should be exciting to see and to explore. I've got a few villages that I'm gonna pass through. Look at that, look at the timing. I'm gonna love that. Don't want to spend any longer at the station than you have to. Over. And service on the high street line towards Epsom Street, Stratford, and Arriving in two fashion. Thank you. 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 Thank you is a shame but it's okay I've got all my waterproofs I've got my map at the ready and I'm gonna go and explore around Aylsham and show you the villages that I see so let's go heading down this really pretty path now towards a park called Fredville Park and I read online that there are some pretty impressive trees there in terms of how large they are and also how old they are some of them are thought to be some of the oldest trees in the UK one of the trees in particular is called Majesty and it's a maiden oak tree which means that it's not being coppiced that is the original kind of way that the tree has grown nothing's been it's not been tampered with basically and what the only way that you can see it is by knocking on the door of the of a house that's there because it's in private grounds so i don't know which house it is and obviously i don't know which tree it is i think it's going to be fairly obvious when you see it because it's supposed to be huge so i'm just going to go and knock on a house um and see if they'll let me in and see their big tree. That's the aim. This is majesty. This is the largest tree I think I've been stood next to. It's absolutely huge. To be in the company of that tree, that tree is estimated to be 500 to 550 years old. That tree was around before the time of Shakespeare. That's sort of how old that tree is. And, and it wasn't even that long ago that the villagers in the, in the local village, Nonnington, um, discovered it themselves because it's on private land. So it was a true secret and hopefully there's many more to come on my travels around the UK. So I'm walking through the middle of another field. At the same time as knowing that this is the footpath, it does feel a bit wrong. It feels a bit like someone's gonna shout at me, come out and tell me off. Um, but I'm continuing, in, continuing down now to Nunnington Church, and then I'm gonna go off and see a village called Chillenden, which is where there's supposed to be a very beautiful mill. There it is, the mill in the background, 
and it's very beautiful and it sits right on top of this ridge looking out for miles and miles and miles it's a different design to a lot of the other mills in this area it's a dutch design and it very nearly wouldn't have been here because in 1949 there was a huge storm that passed through this area and it was very badly damaged but it was restored back to its former glory and i think it makes this hillside look pretty unique on with the walk I just walked through the village of Goodneston and over that wall there is Goodneston House and it's quite a famous house and quite large and amazing views. Look at, look at the views that they have. Jane Austen, who's a novelist, who is known for her novels Pride and Prejudice and Sense and Sensibility, used to come to Goodneston and stay at the Goodneston House and frequent short walks not like this one <laughs> and hang out with her friends um, and just yeah soak up the kind of life that the aristocracy were famous for and maybe maybe inspired her maybe inspired some of her novels but that is what m makes this place quite well known and you can visit it as you can see the light is going I've got a couple of miles left to walk back to the station it's half past eight and so far I've walked I think last time I checked it was about eight miles I'm gonna end the video here because I'm pretty tired and I'm just gonna keep going all the way to the station now thank you very much for watching hope you enjoyed my walk I certainly have I saw the most amazing tree I've ever seen I think in my whole life which is quite a claim and a really impressive mill as well as Goodneston House so I feel very lucky and thanks a lot for watching again and I'll see you on another walk soon bye